Welcome to Live Your Abundant Life with your coach, Aya Fubaranelli. I'm really excited to talk about this topic with you today because it's all about the holidays, or some of you may call them the holy days. So let me ask you this. Are you looking forward to this season? Like are you anticipating it? Can't wait. Or do you have that sense of dread? Like, oh my gosh, here we go again. Like, let me just endure this. So I've got to tell you this story. This happened many moons ago when I was still a college student, but I had just gotten this brand new shiny discover card, right? With a thousand dollar limit. And I wanted to just wow my family. I love to give gifts. I love to make people happy. And so I went all out. I was so thoughtful in terms of my gift giving, making sure that it's what they needed, but it was quality and it was great, you know, and just neatly wrapped and all of that. Couldn't wait for my family to unwrap the gifts that I had so thoughtfully purchased for them with my brand new shiny Discover card. And so the time came for the family to open up our gifts and everybody was just ooing and eyeing and how did you afford this? And I'm like, don't worry about it. And in that moment, I was just so overjoyed by their response to the gifts that I gave them. Great holiday, right? And so everything was perfect until January when the bill came in the mail and I suddenly realized that I had no earthly idea how I was going to pay off that bill on my $4.25 an hour job. And that was before taxes. Yes, so long story short, I kid you not, it took me years to pay off that bill and I have no idea how much I ended up paying in interest, but it was ex an extremely painful experience. So fast forward a few years later, now I'm a graduate administrative assistant in the dormitories at Ohio State University. And that year, even though my family lived in the same city, I decided not to go back home for the holidays at all. I was just going to withdraw totally because this whole materialism thing had gotten me into trouble and I just was not, I was not partaking in any way. So I did not, you know, get to enjoy my family at all. Didn't go to eat, nothing. Didn't go to, for the games that we have, the laughs, all of that. I just totally withdrew myself. Kind of extreme, right? But that's what I thought I needed to do at that time. But you know what? Wherever you may be sitting today and however you're feeling about the holidays, let me say this to you. There is one thing that you can do that can make sure that you thrive during these next few days, right? During this holiday season. And that one thing is set boundaries. Set boundaries. What do I mean by that? Now, Shiny card or not, all I needed to do was to really figure out what my budget was, what I realistically could afford, and I needed to have made decisions based on a budget. Boundaries, you know, this is, these are the boundaries of my economic means right now, and I'm going to live within them so that I do not create undue stress for myself, right? You may think about boundaries in terms of time. Some of you may have family members who are like leeches. God bless them, but they come and they just suck you dry. So you may need to set up some boundaries in terms of how much time do I want to devote to family time versus time that I need to just take for myself. And you need to be clear about this up front so that you can communicate your needs clearly to people and set boundaries that you let them know they are not allowed to violate, right? Because this is a time where, yes, you may want to pour into other people, but this is also a time where you need to take care of yourself so you don't end up being cranky, right? Hasn't that happened to all of us? And then the third area that I would say you definitely want to consider setting boundaries is just in terms of your emotions. One of the books that we read during this time of the season is the Bible. And there's a verse that says, guard your hearts for out of it flow the issues of life. And so have you ever felt like, you know, you're in your 30s or something, but as soon as you go to your parents, it's like you're 12 again. They treat you like a kid. Everybody treats you like time has stood still and you're just, it's so annoying, right? And you let your emotions kind of follow whatever is happening around you. 
versus if you set those boundaries. You know, you have that one inappropriate uncle, set your emotional boundaries. You have your mother who sometimes wants to forget that you're an adult, set those emotional boundaries. And when people are crossing it, let them know and then step away if you need to, right? Take care of yourself, honor yourself. And you do that by knowing ahead of time what your boundaries are and choosing to honor yourself by enforcing those boundaries. I tell you, if you follow this one thing, you are going to have a much happier holiday season than you could have expected. Thank you for joining me. And if this has blessed you in any way, if you've learned anything from this, please like and please share and do leave your comments. I wanna hear about your holiday stories, the good ones and the not so good ones. Like what you've heard? Subscribe to my channel and do it right now. And be sure to invite your friends as well. And then visit my website at www.ayaenelli.com. That's A-Y-A-E-N-E-L-I.com.